Hello, welcome to part 3 of this course. In this course, we will be looking at how to create an email account. If you already have an email account, of course, you should skip this particular tutorial. And after creating our email account, we'll go further to create a YouTube account. And of course, if you if you've had if you already have a YouTube account, you should skip this part too. All right. So to create an email account, we just type an uh, email account. We can just call it uh, John Go YouTube, whatever you want to um, call it. Call it Toot. Then uh, we're going to call our email address to be John Do YouTube at gmail dot com. Um, we're gonna look for something else you John Doe you we're just trying to guess one two three okay cool really son John do you one two three four all right good so which is a password and um, we confirm password Like I said, if you already have all this, you should just skip this particular part. And I'm just going to choose any random date, any random date, 19, whatever, 55. Okay. And then um, going to choose any gender. Now, you're supposed to add your real phone number here because Google will be calling your phone number to give you a code which you will use in the next page. So if you don't already have a phone number you should better get one that Google will use so I'll post this and enter my phone number and then I'll show you in the next page so right now we are asked to accept the privacy terms and conditions of course you have to scroll down if you don't scroll down this button won't activate so we scroll down and click on it and the next it will ask us to choose which format to send that message okay so great we have our new email address don't ever send me any email to this email address I don't think I will ever check it all right so we have one two three four John do you want to trade for a gmail so we'll continue to gmail but our aim is to end up at youtube and also have an adsense account all right so we have our new email address created and we're logging in our next mission is to go and visit youtube.com and of course you hit enter if you're logged into your email youtube should log you in automatically all right since we're not automatically logged in let's sign in we'll click on sign in and um, it's asking us for our email. So we're now signed in with our YouTube, our John Doe YouTube into our YouTube account. Remember that YouTube is always linked to your YouTube accounts are linked to your Google Plus account. So if you want to add a profile picture or update your profile, it will simply take you to your Google Plus account. All right. So um, let us go and change some things and see how we can change some um, personal details on our YouTube. So you click, as you can see what I just did, um, I, cl I clicked on Creator Studio and we have zero subscribers so far. And uh, from the zero subscribers, what we can do is create a channel. So you create on, click on create a channel and then um, it's asking us what our channel could be. What we are using YouTube as, uh, uh, yeah, the name is John Doe YouTube, and uh, and um, this is I can just call this reviews, reviews, John Doe reviews. All right, nice name, and then we hit on enter. So we're creating a new channel right now. That's how to create a new channel. So we now have a new channel on YouTube. The next thing we have to do is um, to go and start working on our channel so if you look at the left you will see that um, there is a, a menu here so you click it it does everything um, shows you all the details about your youtube channel and uh, the first one we have to know is that our youtube channel is not verified in youtube you can you have to verify using a phone number so if i click verify um, it's going to bring me to a page where we have to verify using a phone number as you can see there is a country I have to select and uh, there's going to call me 
um, so we're going to enter a phone number if you choose to be called or texted you're going to enter your phone number now in YouTube you can only use the same phone number to verify a YouTube account only two YouTube accounts per year so every year you can only use one phone number to verify two YouTube accounts so YouTube doesn't expect you to create two accounts um, two channels per more than two channels per year so every year you can only create two channels using one phone number so you can enter your phone number here without the country code so in this case i will not enter it you can still use your youtube comfortably without entering this but the thing is you won't be able to activate payments youtube can pay you if your account is not verified so let's keep going on i wouldn't like to verify mine let's keep going on let's look at all the details that you have here number one um, it's, it's telling you all the features that are enabled in your YouTube. The ones that are enabled has this little green bar, bottom bar here. So here, you can upload videos, so it's enabled. You can edit video, it's, en it's enabled. There's monetization that is not enabled. When we click on enable, it will ask us to verify. There's live streaming. For you to stream live, you must have a certain number of users. So as you can see, every step is asking us to do a verification. But for this course, uh, and for this particular channel, we won't go uh, much more than much further than this. We'll have to use an already existing channel to explore these other features. Now, some other thing you can see is that if right here, people can report your video. So if somebody reports your video, YouTube keeps track here. So if you copy somebody else's video and uploads, and uh, you get reported, YouTube will, will show it here that you've been flagged and they will ban you for some time. If you continue, they'll have to ban you permanently, including the phone number you used to create this. So these are your features. And of course, remember how you can get to this point. You always click on this icon here and then you click on Creator Studio. Now that's it for this. And then you can set upload defaults. Upload defaults is whenever you're uploading a new video um what should be there by default so the privacy of all the videos uh, for this particular account will set it to public and then um we'll, see, we'll choose category what what your category uh, the category of your videos falls in so if i'm making videos about um, people dancing so we can look for something that has to do with entertainment so if we come to here we look entertainment so we want to start uploading our dance videos uh, then of course standard YouTube license the title your videos can have a certain title by default so that after uploading You can now start changing it this for description this way. I want to like I like to put um, my links like um, follow me on Facebook FB.com slash that's my real Facebook account. You can always go there and leave me a message if you have further questions. And then you can do the same thing for Twitter and so on and so forth. So that whenever you upload a video, you don't have to do all this all over again. So there's this Twitter. And there's twitter.com slash Dave and so on and so forth Instagram just put all your basic links here but uh, after uploading you still have to put the description of the video but these ones are already there for you now the next thing we have to look at is um, the tags what are the default tags for instance our dancing video we're expecting almost every uh, every video we upload to have entertainment tag we have uh, dancing uh, twerking and uh, singing we have club music uh, these are like default tags that we expect or will always be here so but then after uploading the video you can always adjust these tags and then we can allow comments uh, can users view ratings for me uh, when I'm starting my new channel I don't want users to see that it's a new channel that with two subscribers and stuff so we can just uh, remove this so if you want to subscribe you subscribe or if you want to watch the video you watch it but i don't want you to see any further details but when the video starts getting viral i can enable it back and remember that this is just default so do you have a specific language by default for me i use english united kingdom and um, allow viewers to contribute translated titles you can do that by default caption certification all these ones you can select any of them and these are basically the default 
and as after selecting them you have to save and uh, it has saved so we'll look at the next settings we have featured content so far we don't have videos when we have videos we can add featured content like which of the videos will play after every other video so when every other video is playing towards the end it will play a part it will show a link to a particular video of yours that's a good way to do adverts and uh, when your youtube channel grows you can go um collect get paid by big companies to put your their video as your featured content all right so you have branding and then you can always add a watermark of uh, what will always be on your video so here you have to upload a logo or picture or whatever so that on, at the bottom of the video you always have that watermark and then there's advanced we, we eventually look at analytics and stuff when we start uh, actually uploading videos remember that you can set up a country which country is your video most your youtube channel most uh, has the most viewers or your target audience remember that you can be in any country while sending while making youtube channels for another country for instance you can be making a youtube channel for uh, london attacks just featuring london attacks but while you are in so somewhere near philippines you understand so it depends on the channel and what you're doing and then um there are these other settings you can look through but here we can add our uh, google analytics tracking id now the issue is that we have to go and create a google analytics account so we'll go to analytics analytics.google.com so we have to create an analytics account and uh, in the next video we'll create an adsense account so there we have our analytics account and uh, it's asking us to sign up and um, so let's quickly scroll to the right and hit on sign up uh, our analytics will help us to see the how many users are viewing our videos which is our most viewed videos and stuff it's a platform by google and uh, we're going to create an account that we'll call um john Gunning, do you and uh, the website do we have a website required I can just go to who knows if they will accept a youtube website website or youtube.com whatever industry category and so on and so forth we're just gonna select category and uh, we're somewhere in entertainment that's an entertainment so here we're just gonna hit get tracking id that's what we're looking for so we accept the agreement i accept of course make sure you read the agreement before accepting and um, that sort of sorts it out for us and this is what we're looking for the tracking id so if we copy it if we copy this oops okay if we copy this and we get back to our youtube we can give our youtube analytics tracking id then we can enter some channel keywords which is the same thing as dancing entertainment and blah 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 all right we're good to go So we've linked our analytics this is where i want to stop for this video in the further videos we will look into creating an adsense account adwords account as you can see here and so on and so forth till we completely set up our youtube ch channel for the profits thank you very much and don't forget to like and subscribe see you